we have an HTML page that has some elements and each element can use a specific pseudo class. Okay, what is exactly a pseudo class? It's a keyword so that can be used in order to change the state of a specific element. So for example, if we have an element A and you wanna change, when I hover over an element, I want to change the color to red. There is a state for that. And to add a state to an element, there's the colon, then the name of the state. So you see here from the other complaint, I have multiple ones. I have, for example, hover in a range. And they have multiple ones, so that can be used depending on the use case. But in general, I wanna wanna hover over an element. I want to change the color to red. Okay, I have a hover color red. So this is the state and I'm changing the color to red. Now, if I hover over the element, the color is changing to red. I can go for green. Now, if I hover over element, it's green. So you can use the same state for any element. Let's just go for the paragraph and change it to green when I hover over the element. Now, if I hover over P, so you see that the color is changing to green. So there are multiple ones. And if we take a look on this link right here, so you see that we have a list of states that we can use in any element within our HTML document. If you wanna take a look to how to activate a state without even hovering over an element, okay, let's just return here to A, hover, and I open the inspector. So let's just select the element A, then click on hover, and we have some list of states. Not all of them, but the most used one. Now, if I click or if I check hover, you see that the color is changing to green. I'm simulating hover without even using the mouse. If I'm using visited or active or focus for my code, it will display the code that I'm using. And if we take a look here, when I check hover, the color or the code is just showing me the hover. Let's just uncheck it. I don't have the code right here. When I'm using hover, it shows me the style that I'm using for this specific element and this specific state. So to create, okay, summarize all of that, you can add the state to any element, not only for this A, so you can use hover or any other state for any other element. And the other thing here is if you wanna add the pseudo class, you just need to add this colon, then the name of the state. So the syntax is the selector, then the pseudo class.